Now on the foreign scene, U.S. President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump have tested positive for coronavirus and are now self-isolating. President Trump, age 74, is considered to be in the high-risk group. The president uh, wrote on Twitter, uh, we will get through this together. It, hopes, uh, it comes rather after Hope Hicks, one of his closest aides, tested positive. And joining us live is Agogo Obu, uh, a foreign affairs expert. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Obviously, uh, Donald Trump is not the first leader to contract the virus. We've had uh, the UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, the Brazilian president and others. Um, what makes Donald Trump's case significant? Right, so what, what makes the Donald Trump case very significant is um, you have um, the US election uh, coming up in 32 days from now. So the entire United States is focused on the November 3rd poll and all the controversy uh, that has come with that poll. If you want to debate uh, the first debate which happened in uh, Ohio a couple of days ago, you see that there the, was a big question about um, the handling of the coronavirus and just, you know, what he said. It's already a video trending where uh, Trump was mocking um, Joe Biden, kind of by the former vice president, saying that uh, even when he was 200 meters away from his point of view, he's having a mask on. And so this is significant because um, before now you had the race relations, you had the economy because of the coronavirus pandemic, more important, importantly, the coronavirus itself and how it's handled. Now that you have um, the main guy in the White House who's picked up the virus and all of the stuff he said about the virus, you know, and how he handled it. This, perhaps, um, people will say is a litmus test for Donald Trump because he would now have to say, for example, now that I picked up the virus, uh, what did I do about it? For myself now, it's more important than over 1.2 million people who have been confirmed with coronavirus positive um, in the United States. Is, is there a likely impact that this might have on his re-election bid? Well, it's, um, it's, it's, it's too early to say, people have said, um, because before now, he's been criticized for having those rallies. Uh, Vice President Joe Biden has been having virtual rallies, Donald Trump has been having uh, huge rallies, something Biden has called reckless and irresponsible during the debate. But, uh, Trump's insisting on going ahead with those rallies, and uh, there's a lot of question now about what exactly his strategy will be. His strategy has always been to have rallies uh, state by state, make the physical appearance, I'm sure you've seen all the videos of um, several of his supporters on masks at several of those rallies. Uh, there are two more debates to come. Uh, one debate, um, uh, bill of this month. He should be out of quarantine by then um, if everything goes uh, as uh, has happened with most people who picked up the virus. But it's still early days, and um, knowing who Trump is, he's still going to be going ahead. He's already tweeted that he's in quarantine. So expect to see more tweets, you know being churned out while he's even in isolation. All right, and, and also there's a, a conspiracy theory that you know this might also be intended to draw sympathy votes for him and possibly push the potency uh, of uh, the hydroxychloroquine in treating COVID-19 and that narrative. Uh, does this make a lot of sense and is there you know, a possibility of uh, this being true? Well, two, two big issues here. Everyone is in the chase, in the race, rather, to get the vaccine out as quickly as possible. Uh, but a, a poll recently conducted by Ipsos um, Reuters should suggest that most Americans would rather wait till sometime in the middle of next year to be sure whether the vaccine is going to work. So all those vaccines you see, they do roll out later this year. Uh, worst case in a best case scenario, December or uh, January. Most, most Americans won't, won't uh, make use of any of those vaccines uh, until they're very sure of what exactly it's supposed to be. And meanwhile, most of the top medical experts in the United States have said it's a mission impossible. It's a far-fetched dream to imagine that any vaccine will come out before the, uh, uh, before the November 3 poll. Uh, even if it happens this year, it's still going to be a, a miracle. It's just a unanimous opinion from several people. On, on the other hand, um, whether it will get him more attention and get more supporters, I, I really doubt it because um, the core basis of support for the Democratic Party and the Republican Party already know where they are. It's just a very small uh, percentage of people who are undecided. And oftentimes, those numbers don't really shift uh, um, either, either side of the divide. You would have the core Trump supporters stick to them, but you already know you have mailing ballot. Over 1.2 million people already have cast their votes uh, through the mailing ballot. So to 
together with the debates, together with anything that happens between now and the next 32 days, it's very unlikely that the core basis of Donald Trump or Joe Biden will shift. All right. And uh, finally, uh, is uh, the Vice President Mike Pence likely to act um, in this uh, period, even though President Trump and his wife are reported uh, to be doing well? Hmm. Well, uh, uh, the American Constitution takes care of that. I've listened to a lot of international uh, reports uh, analysis on this one. Uh, uh, the 25th Amendment, which um, requires if anything happens. It's happened in, in previous times when you've had um, Ronald Reagan when he was shot in 85, I think, or in the 80s, early 80s when he was shot um, while well, he went into surgery. Uh, that was put in place. Same, the same thing happened with uh, George H.W. Bush uh, when he was going through surgery. And then um, and Quill had to act while he was there. So the American Constitution uh, definitely takes care of that. But uh, this, it's a very fluid story right now. So we don't know, for example, what state of uh, coronavirus Trump is, whether he's asymptomatic or whether he's okay. There's still the questions um, that would have to be answered. Otherwise, the Constitution clearly takes care of what happens, uh, that there's no vacuum uh, you know, if uh, the Trump situation gets uh, uh, into some of the serious symptoms that's associated with uh, the coronavirus. All right, Agogo Obu, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us and for sharing your thoughts with us. I was a pleasure. Thank you very much. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.